palm trees and a home away from home. What's the dealio Martilli? I'm coming to y'all with another banger video as every video is a banger. Of course, we only post bangers. And today, we are back with the AMG. So right now, we are about to head up to MFR Engineering because you know that annoying service like that pops up? Yeah, we're getting that handled. So we're about to do some service and talk about what more upgrades can we do to the AMG for SEMA? Because the AMG is officially a SEMA car. And we picked out the rims, so thank you guys for uh, helping me out in the last video. Which rims to pick, and go watch the last video if you haven't already. Mercedes, you gotta slam the door type B. Going up, look at this G-Wagon, but look at this Raptor, dude. I don't, are you guys getting the hint? The hint from last video, or do you guys get the hint? That thing is hard. Let me know if you get the hint. I'll give you guys a bunch of hints, sometimes y'all don't get it, so. I'm gonna just keep doing it until you get the hint. Comment down below if you think you know what the hint is. It's from the last video. All the videos are connected, so you gotta make sure you watch all the videos together and we just watch all the videos. So, if you haven't subscribed and turn on post notifications, smash the like button too. Yes, I said that at the beginning of the video. Slow down, yo. It's a race car. I can't slow down. You hear that? Bang, 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 bang. Why I just said that, but right now, y'all, we are headed up to MFR Engineering just to handle some stuff before the weekend because the weekend is gonna be lit. I said, I keep saying it, just, just trust the process, just stay tuned. We are headed up to MFR Engineering. We have made it to MFR Engineering. Old McLaren parts are still here. Might take that hang on the wall. Have an exhaust stuff. You want to buy a McLaren exhaust? I don't know why you would need one, but if you do need one, um, just hit me up. You can get one. That's a McLaren right there. Dead. Anyways, this is my inspiration for getting the GT3. Wins GT3 right here, which I just showed you guys. This thing is completely like, this is insane. But first, don't forget Mike's wide body M4. I think this is M4. Not a BMW guy, but wide body 101 of course but wins gt3 here just looks insane nothing you've never seen before because he obviously tracks this car that's what porsche owners do either chill or track there's no in between i'll be the first in between don't worry guys but anyways this is what he does so they have the open back so back bumper delete with the open diffuser and the race light built inside as you can see right there like and this thing sounds completely insane with the wing on there like inspiration for the gt3 that makes me want to get but i thought about doing a wide body on it too that would be hard yeah, yeah. So you don't see these one body often. i know there is this one wide body uh turbo s for 1.2 million that i saw dude i was like yeah what the heck you know what you can get with that you can get spj <laughs> yeah nah that one that we saw at that one dealership before i left last time the wide body one, you guys know Saint Squad, 1.2 million. <laughs> it could stay where it's at. So anyways, Aaron's with MFR Engineering today. Uh, we're getting in the truck and we're going to pick up a car. And they say this is a hour long road trip, but the car is pretty sweet though. Something you don't really see. So I get in the front or you? I get in the front. Oh, thanks, thanks. The truck right there. We have made it to the shop to pick up the, we'll pick this thing up. Here we have this wide body scat pack. SRT 392. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Same thing. It's like, no. SRT 392. So, they've had this one for a while. You guys seen this car on the channel before, but it's always just been sitting. So they came and got it tuned. So they got the tune on this. It is twin turbo. I think it's still stock engine, but this thing is honestly sweet. Like the wide body is truly custom. Never seen a wide body like this. And this car is actually going to be in SEMA this year. Look at that. Roll cage too. And then boom, get down here. The turbo is right there in the back. So we're picking this up and taking it back to the shop. Drive in the, well, my first drive. In a twin turbo SRT. I've never been in one. I know uh, Mazda Fame has a twin turbo Hellcat, so shout out to Mazda Fame, man. Can't forget that. But 
twin turbo SRT. And it's crazy when I had my scab thought about putting a turbo in there. We in the country of California, what the heck? goes on the trailer so putting it on the trailer then we head back to the shop i guess it was a cop well it was a cop around we'll see if we can do a full throttle at the shop honestly that feel too bad honestly dude all these freaking i'm standing in the shade in the grass it's probably why it's all these little flies huh thanks god we'll really we we'll beat a fly to the pulp you know what i'm saying man anybody get away from me man Chad, I'm, with, I'm gonna sell this beautiful lamborghini to the boy josh right here take a look thing looks so mean oh my gosh not gonna lie that thing like that looks freaking vicious dude freaking vicious but anyways while they moved that inside Seth has finished the oil change on the AMG so we just did a full oil change we were thinking about doing the brakes and stuff because you know I was complaining about my brakes but my brakes are actually pretty good so we checked the rotors and the brake pads the brake pads have enough to last the rotors are pretty good as well so we got the maintenance done on the amg thank the lord thank the lord but this right here is half of my inspiration for the gt3 like i said like chad's being loud and this just a look shout out to win but here we get to see the front side dude look at this the most aggressive canards i have seen race car don't mind that but literally race car this thing looks freaking insane i guess they're about to add a little bit more stuff on there because Wynn's car is actually going to SEMA as well so they're adding a little more touch-up stuff to it but dude literally this thing is freaking amazing and then we see the back side again but this time on the ground sheesh comment down below and let me know what do you guys think about this let's look at the inside too we got the road cage with the race harness and then can't forget this have the race steering wheel on the inside dude literally one of the inspirations and this is actually the first car that ever got me into liking gt3s if you guys do remember that video this was like a while back in my first old shop when it was there he took me on a ride in this thing and like that made me start liking them that was this is the first one that actually made me start liking porsches and here we are searching for a porsche to bring to the channel one day look how things work but we do have the amg we have the german versus german these two are complete competitors that's why we can't have a porsche and an amg at the same time but knowing how durable this thing is i wonder how that is only time will tell when we get the gt3 so subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any more bangers because y'all just got the craziest hint also just talking about going over um what's all happening to the amg without giving you guys too much you guys to just see like the reveal we're adding way more to it it's gonna look better dude what's the sneak peek you could give them for it um more holes more cutting and right, there we go i like that that's eight <laughs> something i'm excited about is i don't know how to say this one it's gonna be super fast super fast super okay. fast there, there we go. go i like that yeah. oh and, and it's resolving a major issue this car has that you guys know about there we go battery overheating. yeah the battery overheating it, one of them it's gonna resolve that issue as well thank the lord dude what does this comment say is that still there <sighs> Apparently today has just been an MFR day, but look at this thing. So this is the, okay, it's a Scion. I forgot which one this is called. Is this the 86? I don't know. I, I don't think so. But anyways, look at this. That's an MFR kit. They say he tracks this thing like crazy. I mean, just look at the inside featuring Augie, but you know. <laughs> Look at the inside, dude. Gutted, roll cage, the seats, harness, all the way to the back. Look at this. Back a little bit. Hello, well. Then right. the exhaust, look the diffuser. Yes, I'm showing you guys this because I always wanted one. I always want the wide body one. That is still a dream goal. Well, that is still a goal. So one day we'll have one of these things and wide body it. Coming to the end of the day, 
we get real pulls in the twin turbo 392. Listen how it starts up. I don't know why I'm so excited about this thing, but I am. It sounds good. I'm trying to burn it. <laughs> nah, you can feel that for sure. When the turbos kick in, it's, it, it's a weird feeling feeling it in here. I'm gonna be honest. It's a weird yeah. feeling. Cause you're not, you, you never felt nothing like that. I think it'll just blow the tires. Yeah. It feels like it wants to break loose. Yeah. This is weird feeling filling a SRT with a turbo chicken. Like yeah. hmm. oh, all the weight and stuff too. Yeah. These cars are not light. Yeah, no. Big old big old door. Now it makes me want to do pulls of mine, so. Fresh oil change start up. Thank you, Seth, for clearing the little thing up there. And also, fun fact, let me turn auto off. How, how do you turn auto off? Okay, I think I do it like that. There we go. Fun fact, we figured out the engine light is still from just the O2 sensor missing. That's what the engine light's from. That's where the youngster scared the old man. before the battery overheats again. Hey, hey, right there. That's why I saw my tea that, in that, that's, that's the inlet that's side. That's the cold side and they're hot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, they're insane. Yeah, that's why. Easy I, to replace though, which yeah. is great, but. Dude, yeah, that is hot. a lot of heat, dude. <laughs> Jesus Christ. How'd you like it though? I it like sounds it, good. It sounds good. Oh yeah, race car. No, that is a lot. That's probably why the, the battery freaking sitting in traffic, dude. The icon pops up, doesn't go away. You gotta, you gotta upgrade those intakes to get more of that induction noise too. Yeah. 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 Maybe one. You year. got downpipes on already, right? Yep. Yeah. So you get those intakes, you get all that noise. That's mm. heat. Mm. Oh, that sound good. Obviously yeah. a lot louder. I'm not very good at you know doing that. <laughs> I'll stand back from that because that thing is extremely hot under there for burn my face off. So I'll be alright. They're putting all the cars away, about to close, of course. We've been up here all day, dude. Literally all day, got the AMG service, picked up a twin turbo thing, and now they are about to pull the Porsche in, which my first love, but look at this, dude. Imagine this, in your garage right now. Which one are you choosing? Right now, which one out of these two, any of these cars, actually, which one are you choosing? I'm choosing the GTR, dude. That's just me. Look at this thing. Of course, love. <laughs> Look at the wheel. Not as loud as Chad, because he still has cats on, of course, California. But it still sounds good, and just. 
this is what made me fall in love with the Porsche. So now, think of this kit and think of my GT3. This plus Y body. Comment down below and let me know what do you guys think about that. But just imagine. This plus Y body. Get a tall ladder and take a picture one day with the garage built like this. Dude, there's a ladder. Dude, this uh, is heat. Just look at this. Oh my, imagine you walk into this garage, dude. Then boom, look at this right here. This is the money shot right here, dude. And we are leaving MFR Engineering as the AMG sits right here. Thank you to MFR Engineering for servicing the AMG today. We looked at the brakes, they were all good. Battery should overheat, so we're just gonna slam. This is a Mercedes, so you, hold on. It's supposed to sound like that. Hear how good it sounds when it slams? They're meant to be slammed. But anyways, we are heading back to Orange County, away from the 100 degree weather and back to the low 80s. Thank the Lord, thank the Lord. But thank you to MFR Engineering. We have something totally amazing coming for the AMG which I just can't wait. I gave you a couple hints and the biggest part, well not, a lot of it is big. A lot of it is pretty big. But anyways, today this video was basically my first love for GT3, so imagine that, but wide body. And the only thing that would get me back into a Mopar, that's what today video consisted of, basically. So was, it, was it a banger? Just smash the like button if it was. Yeah, maybe I should get a new O2 sensor. Stuff said $150. The engine lack could go away, 100 degrees. I don't know. Then we have fresh oil change. Didn't have to do the brakes or anything. Those are good and the AMG is back fresh. Thank the Lord, because this thing is indestructible. And the scary part to y'all, best part. Not the, I wanna say this is the best part, but um. That wasn't as bad. Back to Orange County you could go. And look where we are. Look who here. You like that. Look at that. up. We are here in California. This is how you know it's about to be a lit weekend because lit, lit, look at them showed up. We are at the Home Away From Home Avenue of the Arts and the AMG just looks so good there, dude. But for what we have coming for it, dude, I'm literally so excited. You guys got a little sneak peek and you guys get like got like a big hint to do. When I tell you grind on stopping is coming soon, now, but I really mean the words that I say, even though sometimes it take long, but they all come into play. You know what I'm saying? Don't make me turn biggie on y'all because I really get to rhyme it all day, every day. You know? like, come on, man. Smash the like button for the heat. Anyway, so we're about to go get some food. I am exhausted, literally. I've been in 100 degrees all day, dude. We're about to get some food. And then after that, I'm probably going to go to sleep, honestly. So hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, go down and smash that like button. Then subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any more bangers because you already know we only post bangers. We're going somewhere I haven't been in a while, which I haven't been to LA in literally forever. So that is where we're going in the next video. We got the oil change, we got the service done to the AMG, and now it's time to have fun with the one of one AMG, of course. The only thing you, you know, come on, man. You've never seen that day in your life. You know what I'm saying? Go, go to Cards Coffee, you're not going to see that one. Know why? Because it's one on one. I'm talking that talk right before I end the video. Come on, champ. I'm lit. So I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. Daily uploads. Do not stop. So grind, don't stop. I'm going to catch you on the next one. Peace. Do it for me. Do it. Do it, Dawson. Do it.